Every VFW post in the Coastal Bend is part of the 6th District of Texas. That district recently got together to pick new leadership and made history in the process. Our Greg Chandler joins us right now in the studio with more on this history-making event. Greg? Yeah, Pat, we first introduced you to Anne-Marie Torres a little less than a year ago ahead of Women's Veterans Day. Well, this trailblazer has a new addition to her already impressive list of accomplishments. The first woman elected VFW, Texas District 6 Commander. Whereas Anne Marie Torres is literally a woman of many hats. A mother, a wife, a grandmother. She's also a Kingsville City Commissioner, commander of VFW Post 2375 in Kingsville, and now VFW Texas District 6 Commander. It's an important position for all our veterans within our Coastal Bend community. District 6 covers the entire Coastal Bend, and Torres is the district's first woman commander. <laughs> a position she says she wouldn't be in if it weren't for the encouragement of her male counterparts. They envisioned something that I hadn't, and once I saw that vision, for our women veterans, it's extremely important that, you know, we come out and we start, you know, voicing our leadership. A veteran of the U.S. Army and Operation Iraqi Freedom, Torres is no stranger to leadership roles. Her new mission, help grow the VFW's ranks regardless of the veteran's gender. I have a saying that not every GI is a Joe. That's extremely important that we all come together and we start maintaining that. Her hope that when the next woman is elected District 6 commander, it won't be nearly as big a deal. Things change and they're, they're changing and now I'm hoping that I won't be a trailblazer anymore. <laughs> now, Torres isn't the first female commander in either the state or the nation. That's because the two women that have been elected VFW district commanders ahead of her, both from the state of Texas. For Veterans in Focus, Greg Chandler, Chris 6 News.